Welcome to part three of the series where I document the behind the scenes of building out my startup, RateMyDorm.com. I'm two months into development and I plan to have the site launch within one month's time. Today I'll be sharing my progress and talking through some key new features. And for those that are new, RateMyDorm.com is a review website for college dorms. Building and scaling the startup is a long journey and I'm documenting every step of the way on this YouTube series. All right, welcome back to part three. It's been about one month since my last update on Rate My Dorm, but I'm excited to share with you what I've been working on. As you can see, a new change in my room. This is a new standing desk. It's actually the desk that I bought Luke for his birthday, but since my roommate left, uh, I ended up keeping it for myself, but ever since I started using this, huge change in productivity. Anyway, there's a lot to talk about in part three. I'm gonna start off with a quick demo. Okay, so a big change that's happened since one month ago is that I brought along a friend to help me with the UI UX slash designs of Rate My Dorm. Okay, so this is like the Figma file that you put together. I'm gonna go into a school. Okay, so this is still a work in progress and these photos on the left are all gonna be just placeholders. So the hopes is that there'd be a nice dynamic collection of photos that users uploaded on my website. The right section, still blank. I'm not sure what I wanna do with that yet. Let me first go to a dorm. Shout out to my friend Vanessa because this is the design that she sent me on Figma and this this is the design that I coded. Okay, now we're gonna go into the writer review page. Let me show you really quickly. Very proud of this. So I'm only allowing students to upload five photos at a time with a review, mainly just for like spamming reasons. So let me select five photos. I'm also compressing the photo both in the front end and the back end. I know this looks like it's not a lot, but this took a while to make sure it's like secure. For example, when you upload a photo, it's gonna be automatically marked as pending approval. And I'm only allowing a student to have up to 30 images that are pending approval. Meaning if a student is uploading and uploading photos, once he hits that 30 mark, the back end is gonna block and time out that user. A lot of security checks I did here. And there is one more thing, and it's a big one. You might be wondering what is this box in the bottom left that says student Q&A. Well, let me explain. I've spent countless hours on Rate My Dorm and since it's my first ever startup and my first ever large scale app I'm building, it's pretty much become my baby. I think the idea is solid and I think there is a real gap in the market for an idea like this. But even with all that said, there is still that unfortunate reality of my startup idea. People would most likely participate in my app once a year because choosing a dorm and writing review for a dorm is a once a year activity. It's kind of a bummer knowing that even with all this effort I'll be putting into the site, it won't be that type of startup with daily active users. For the record, this isn't me complaining about the idea. This is just me pointing out a weakness and an area to improve in. So the question I've been asking myself is, how can I make this a site that people return to more than once a year? Introducing Forums. If you go on college subreddits or Facebook groups, you'll see countless threads of people asking questions about dorms. Which is the best dorm for freshmen? Which dorm has the best food? People have questions about dorms, and this is my chance to expand Rate My Dorm into something bigger. So this is the forum, how it would look on the screen. Hot Topics is just like what's trending. So a few days ago, I called up my friend to mock up some designs for a school forum page. And today, we're going to build it. My original goal with Rate My Dorm was to be the centralized platform for all things dorm reviews. Now, I want it to be the go-to for all things dorms. So this next phase of Rate My Dorm is creating a forum section for every school. A place where classmates can create posts, ask questions, and reply to each other in the thread below. Why should students have to bounce around Facebook, Reddit, or College Confidential to ask questions about dorms? If it's dorm related, Rate My Dorm will be the place they go. This is a huge step up from just being a dorm review website, because now, students have the ability to connect with each other and have conversations. The best part is that forum posts are evergreen. If someone asks a question and there are helpful replies in the thread, the post will forever live on the site. Google SEO is key to my site's success and forums will help a lot with that. So I wanna talk more about forums, but before that I have a quick announcement. I just created a page on Patreon. I've been having this little internal struggle lately where half my audience are software engineers or coders and want more technical CS content and the other half just want to see casual vlogs from me and don't care about code at all. So I think I found the perfect solution. Every Thursday I'll be posting vlogs on YouTube but I'll also be posting behind the scenes coding content of Rate My Dorm. The content I'll be posting there will be highly tailored to computer science students and programmers. Think of it similar as a live coding session. I'll be screen recording and you'll be watching me as I explain and build out different parts of the app. Okay, so what I wanna do is when someone clicks on this text area box, it's gonna open up a modal, and that modal will have 
you know, header, text box, and post. You can watch part one of me building out forums on Patreon. Episode one is live now, so check out the link in my description. And if you're wondering why I'm charging $5 a month, well, everything that I'll be posting on Patreon will be about coding the business, and the money that I get from there will fund the business. I'm gonna be launching the site pretty soon, and I'm gonna have to pay for marketing. So if you've been keeping up with the series and wanna support the project, you can check out the Patreon in my description. So forums is gonna help the website a lot with getting users to return to the site more than once a year because it has that element of like conversation with your classmates and not only that users can post topics or questions about dorms year-round something as simple as like how do I turn on the heater or even like looking for roommates for next year and regarding the whole helping rate my dorms SEO thing the reason I came up with the idea of rate my dorm is because when I was entering college in like 2015 and I tried looking up dorm reviews at BU all I could find were threads in reddit college confidential about the different dorms so it's kind of surprising me that I only came up with the idea of forums like last week I am very excited about this new feature and it's also just gonna give me another way to make money on the site because the way reddit makes money is that they just show ads I'm still thinking about how I want to moderate the forum section so with reviews I'm currently gonna have moderators click approve to every pending dorm review or pending image. Um, nothing goes live on the site but I'm wondering if I want to do that for the forums because you know with reddit you just post freely and it'll go live on the site. So I'm thinking, what do I want to do with Rate My Dorm Forums? I think the nature of the fact that I'm documenting this and there are people that are keeping up with this project, I'm probably gonna go with where nothing shows up on the site right away. And I think that's just because people who are watching this at home might want to spam the website once I launch it. For example, a little story time. When I launched Jedcord, which is like this Discord app that I made a few videos ago, it was just this chat app. And when I launched it, there were a ton of people spamming spamming the chat and I didn't silly me I didn't think about moderation I didn't think about banning users I just thought people would be nice on there because you know I just made this video for you I made this app for you but there were a ton of people spamming with like bad comments bad words whatever so learning from that mistake um, with my initial launch everything will be marked pending approval and then when the hype dies down it'll then switch to being able to post freely and then moderators deleting you or banning you but I've been wanting to mention this about that Jedcard experience because everybody tried hacking me or spamming me I spent like two solid weeks deep diving into how to write the best secure code, how to automatically censor and filter out bad words. And at the time I was doing it, you know, I spent like two weeks recoding Jedcore to make it more secure. I was thinking like, I'm wasting my time on this, you know, wasting my time on an app that's not even gonna be like a startup or anything like that. I thought it was a waste of time, but it turned out to be a great learning experience because Jedcord will be kind of similar to forums. I assigned a couple of moderators on Jedcord and they were helping me like ban users and delete posts. So a lot of the same functionality and I'm excited to start. So if you're interested in watching me code forums, Patreon description. See you guys next week.